Like Won't you gotta earn this. Sh and I just yeah. don't see Zach Wilson earning anything in his in his NFL career. That video of him at the draft, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, around like the guys, and he's like. The Jets put in a quarterback this week that actually looked competent in Mike White. Dude, uh, Mike White is. He's the truth. He's him. Now, here's my question. Well, is it like truth social type of truth, or what are we talking about? He's, he's, he's not a capper. He's not a capper. <laughs> here's my question, though. The, the Jets have three quarterbacks right now in, or maybe more, but they have three that we know about. Mike White, Zach Wilson, and Joe Flacco. Elite. Do you think that either of those three guys are the quarterback for the Jets? Do you think that the Jets currently have the quarterback for them on their team? No. Or do you I, think they need to go out and get a new, another guy? I don't necessarily... Because see, we've seen Mike White for three games. Uh, I can't talk. We've seen Mike White for three games. I don't necessarily know if he's the guy yet. If he keeps playing like this, sure he is. I don't think the Jets have their Super Bowl contending quarterback exactly. on the team right now. But you tell me next offseason you go out and sign a gym or you trade for a Derek Carr. That's a Super Bowl team. Yeah. We've seen just this this last week. We've seen exactly what they can do with that coach, with the the pieces they have around him. How good they actually can be. Like, granted, it was against a really shit-ass Bears team. That's true. That was hurt, but... Yeah, but their defense still plays really well yeah. every week, even against good teams. Yeah. And well, Garrett Wilson's awesome. Elijah yeah. Moore, too. Tyler Everyone Moore's forgets how awesome. good he is. Like, right. I mean, I think it's what Jack said. you got to be able to separate. Like, they're going to be a good team. I don't know if Mike White can keep this up, but if he plays like he did yesterday, they're a good team. But <laughs> if we want them to be Super Bowl contenders, then they need a, a Jimmy G or a Derek Carr or... Somebody else on that market, and I don't think they're going to be in a position to draft somebody very high up in the first round. Yeah. Obviously, they're seven and four, so that they're not. But that's what we have to separate between. Also, yeah. Zach Wilson sucked, so we it's clear need, that they're yeah. better with Mac. We Mike also White. need to clarify that they played the Bears. And that's true. Anyone's putting up those numbers against that Bears? Hey, Zach Wilson put up Zach numbers Wilson? against the Bengals last year. What would Zach Wilson's stat line be if he had played though? Zero, not zero, zero, because he. Yeah, well, you said everybody would put those numbers up. They also played the Bears without Justin Fields, so like. And well, was the Bears? The Bears had a couple of their like the guys in the secondary hurt, like Eddie Jackson. Mike, Mike White could not have been primed for a better day, like. Yeah. But still, like Zach Wilson would not have put up those numbers. I don't think. Look, I don't think. I don't think the Jets' quarterback of the future is on this roster right now. Yeah. yeah. And, I like, agree. I don't know how long that future is. I think they should go after Derek Carr or Jimmy G because it's clear that that roster can't contend right now. We've said that for weeks now. I think Zach Wilson is just a guy that, like, he's not coming back from this right now, at least this season. Yeah. Like, he needs to sit on the bench. He needs to understand that in this world, in the NFL, you got to f***ing earn your shit. Yeah, you don't just 100%. get it handed to you because you were the number two pick in the draft because you learned how to torque your hips like Dak in yeah. a pro day throw. You know, like... I. I think what the Jets have been doing wrong in getting quarterbacks has been they've been trying to get guys who have this like intangible skill yeah. like a Zach Wilson. But if they were going to add a guy like Jimmy Garoppolo, who's just a winner, you know, someone well, who can does, go out there and lead your team to a win, like, not going to make a ton of mistakes, yeah. then I actually think they could win a lot of games yeah. and be a really solid, solid Dude, team. I, I saw some stats to like put in perspective, just like how like because we've known Zach Wilson's bad, but like Mike White has played has started three games in his career. He has two three hundred yard passing games. Zach Wilson has zero. Yeah. The passing touchdown leaders for the Jets this year, Joe Flacco has five. He leads the team. Then Zach Wilson with four and Mike White with three. Damn. Damn. That's After ridiculous. One game. One game. I, here's a take. I think Zach Wilson is going to be a career backup after this season. Yeah, like I, I think could, he's going to. They're going to try to start him on another team. He's going to be bad, and then they're going to put him in the backup spot, and he's going to just stay. There. You know, I could see him going to like a, like a Panthers or Commanders or something like that. But yeah. again, we're so attached to what these, what the intangible. Can they throw 150 fucking yards? Can it's they throw the it out of the stadium? Game, though we it's talked all about this mental. Last week. It's yeah. all not mental. all mental. Dude. It's not all mental. Patrick Mahomes is so much more than mental. But he has both but of them. The yes, reason both. he's the, the reason best. He finds success. The reason Patrick Mahomes is the best is because he has both the best skill and the best exactly. mental game. Well, and you right? see, you see Patrick. Mahomes when he has a bad game because he had a few of those last year that run where he wasn't yeah, playing well yeah. he took initiative to say like hey this is on me this is my fault we're not playing well Zach Wilson had like the worst game like that I can think of in a long time yeah and he's like yeah no I wasn't the problem I mean look they say never judge a book by its cover I judged Zach the second I saw him I just don't see him as like an NFL leader in a locker room personally he's not well, bro, he, he doesn't, he doesn't like look like one, look he's, like he's one. A, let's be honest he's he's a clean cut white Mormon dude that grew up in Utah like it's it's hard that to... Video, that video of him at the draft? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, around, like, some... the guys, and he's like... 
Right. He doesn't it's, seem like a guy that's like gonna just like gel the locker room. Yeah, it's not like he went. It's not like he grew up in Utah as a Mormon, then went to a school like a, like a Florida or something like that, where yeah. you're gonna see people from all different like types Walks of, of life. Yeah. yeah. He no, stayed uh, in BYU with all these Mormons. Like you gotta it's earn just, this. Shit. And I just yeah. don't see Zach Wilson earning anything in his in his NFL career. At least with Mike White, he was on the Cowboys. He was in locker rooms. You know, like he was. He's done something. He went to Western Kentucky. West, yeah, but when he was at Western Kentucky, he put up numbers. Before that, Joe Burrow. Shout Bro, out, shout out Hilltoppers, dude. Him yeah. and Bailey Zappi. So I think Mike, like, I'm all for Mike. Shout out University School Suns. Like, that's a, it's a U School product right there. Go Suns. Go fucking a terrible fucking mascot. <laughs> Hold up. So, but if the Jets right now had a Derek Carr or what other quarterbacks? Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy or even if they had like a Kirk Cousins. Guys on that. Right how now. good would they be right now? Would they be a Super Bowl contender right now? Yeah. Ah, Super Bowl contender. I think they'd be like a team like we. They'd like, be like Bengals level, probably. I was about to say like Bengals type of thing where they're nah. they're like not on that level, but damn, if they get hot, watch out. Or yeah, like, they have the same or record like next year. They once have they this, get success, watch out. They have like, the same record as the Bengals right now. They're both seven and four, and the Jets had to deal with Zach Wilson for weeks. Yes, but who do you feel more comfortable in big moments? What team would you feel more comfortable? Well, the with Bengals. Team do you trust. Maybe we'll it last year, but I don't know if Mike they've been there. That, that Jets team would remind me of like a a Walmart version of like what the Niners are. Like pieces around a good defense and a quarterback that can move the ball, but a team that's you know like I don't I don't think they can get over the hump. But can they win a playoff game yet? Well, I mean, you got Robert Sala there too. I mean, yeah, not I don't give a shit. To be honest, I don't give a shit. The only quarterback of those three that you that have even gotten close to the Super Bowl is Jimmy Garoppolo. Of those three you just listed, Kirk Cousins and yeah. uh, Derek that's Carr, true. right? That's true. So like, I mean, I can't. It's tough to say that like I, any three of those guys would be able to turn the Jets into a Super Bowl I, th- I think if you're you going to pick all a teams, guy, that's the if, toughest team to turn around. If you have to pick one guy, and I don't want this to happen, but it has to be Jimmy. If you're the Jets, I was just about to say. I kind if of you're agree. The Jets, do you want? Would you want Derek you, Carr? You want, or would you want uh, Der- uh, I th- Jimmy G? I think you want Jimmy because first of all, he's Robert Sala knows him. Like that's he true. knows how he I plays everything. That. Like oh, nice, just dropped my phone. Um, but I. Derek Carr just makes too many mistakes. Yeah. Do you think Mike White is the future for the Jets? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know what you want us to talk about next week.